everybody. Art in the Past, returning this weekend with fine art, live music, delicious food, and oh, so much more. Joining us now is board member Anita Gianni to tell us all about this fantastic festival. Always good to see you, Anita. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Us. Thank you for having me. Now, this, this has been going on for a long time over there. Yeah, this is the 25th year. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have vendors in, and we're going to talk about a little bit of this art in a second, but you're yes. going to have vendors in from different states. How many? Right, 106 vendors this year, and half of which are new. So we're really excited about that and then 10 food vendors, and half of those are new, so we're really happy about and that. And you draw huge crowds for this event every year. It's a two-day affair at uh, Memorial Park, a That's beautiful right. downtown, the oak trees. I mean, you just can't beat it. No, it is a gorgeous place. And um, we, at the same time on Saturday, we have Celebrate the Gulf, which is on the north end of the park, and that goes from 10 to 4 on Saturday, and that's, uh, that's put on the Marine Institute and it has all these exhibits I think the for Department kids. of Marine Resources Thank you. is also involved. Thank you. <laughs> it's also involved in that. They, Very, they, they're the organizer yeah, actually. Yeah, they teach kids, I think, and it's always a valuable lesson. Yeah, it's appreciate the environment. Great of it. Now you're gonna have such a wide variety. We talked about fine art. We have this uh, interesting sculpture uh, by our friend John Walrod. Yes, yes. He uh, creates things out of, old pieces. This is an old John Deere lunchbox. I love it. Yeah, um, and with John, you never know. <laughs> exactly. He'll take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and that's what you come And up that's with. what you come up and with. fine ceramic art. I know this is yes. from uh, This Bay is St. Clay Louis. Creations yeah. in Bay St. Louis. They are a huge favorite every year they come by. And what she does, and you really want to buy some of the stuff, I own some of her things. As you can see right there, she does landmarks in New Orleans, and on the coast, and she puts them in these ceramic forms, and they come out like this, and they're just absolutely uh, They're just cool. wonderful. And you're going to have paintings galore, I imagine. Yes, and this is actually Jennifer Kays. She has won um, the Best in Show in the past. Uh, she's just a wonderful local artist, and so we're thrilled to have her back. And how important is this also just to get people downtown, because then they can also, right. there's a residual benefit. They can go down to Past Christian Books, which is beautiful, the Cat Island uh, Coffee, Coffee House. House. And then they can go into the downtown area. And so the it's restaurants really good for business, and the yeah. olive oil shop and the clothing. Absolutely, it's a big benefit to the whole community. But even after the this is over, I mean, Art in the Past distributes, plans to distribute over $30,000 to the community in terms of scholarships to students, um, donations, contributions to the participating high schools in Harrison and Hancock County. That's primarily for art programs. For art programs so to support. Great. And then to the Pasco Stan School System and the Boys and Girls Club, all supporting art. Okay, two days, Saturday and Sunday. Should be a beautiful weekend. Always good to see you, Anita. Thanks for coming by the Fort And thank you for having me, Dave.